Problem number one. When rolling a die, you can expect a uniform distribution. Draw the graph, label the vertical axis, uh, and find and fill the table that describes the roll of a, a die. So for part A, what we want to do is we want um, a graph and a table to describe our distribution. And in this case, we have a uniform distribution. So that's fairly easy to represent. In the graph, it would just be a horizontal line. And just to make sure, we're labeling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to represent each of our random variables. So this is just a bar graph. Um, and to label the vertical axis, we need to know that uh, this has a uniform distribution from 1 to 6. The area of this thing has to be 1, so the vertical axis needs to be 6. Or you can think of that as a probability of each possibility when you roll a die. So 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And it would all have a 1 6 as your probability. So that's the first problem. For part B, given the distribution, what is the probability that you roll a 4 or higher? So rolling a 4 or higher, graphically, we can find areas of these three bars over here. Or, using the table, we can find the probability by adding these probabilities here. So notation-wise, we would say the probability that we would roll a 4 or higher. So that would be x bigger than or equal to 4. And this is an OR statement, 4 or 5 or 6. And since this is an OR statement, we can use the addition rule back in Chapter 3. So the probability of roll a 4 plus the probability that you roll a 5 plus the probability that you roll a 6. Notice this is not the probabilities themselves yet. The probabilities themselves are these values, 1, 6, 1, 6, and 1, 6. So you add them together, you get 1 half or 0. 0.5 as your result, your answer. Okay, so the next question, part C, find the mean and standard deviation of the roll of a die. So there's two ways to do that. Uh, one way is to use the formula for finding the mean. Um, add up all the x's times p of x's. And then the standard deviation is an even more complicated formula. Um, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, so I'll just say go with my second choice and the second choice of doing this is to use your calculator. So let's take out the calculator and we can set up a table and my table is almost complete. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six for my random variables and then I typed in one divided by six um, six times to represent my probabilities. And once we have that, now let's take a quick screenshot of this and send it to our notes. Just so we can have a copy for our notes. And So to actually compute the mean and standard deviation, what we want to do is uh, we want to go to stat, calc. And it's a one var stat. It's still a uh, calculation in one variables. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to go for L1, comma, L2. And then they give us the results here. So let's take a screenshot of that and bring it to our notes.
and this these are the results that we're going to want. Notice that there's no s of x, uh, and it wasn't an accident that I actually put sigma here because we're talking about a distribution in general. And so, um, having said that, our mean should be mu and not x bar, and so the mean is 3.5, and our standard deviation is 1.7. The last part of this problem, part D, is a theoretical type of a question and they ask what you're going to look like if you roll your, if you roll five dice and then you take the mean of the five dice. Um, so this is essentially finding the mean of the means and the standard deviation of the means, which in project two we did, um, some somewhat complicated. But according to the central limit theorem, the mean of the means is the same as the original mu, which we figured to be 3.5. And our standard deviation in this theoretical sense, by the way, this is the distribution if you roll five times, the theoretical standard deviation is the original standard deviation divided by the square root of n, which in this case is 5. And so let's um, quickly punch that in our calculators. Uh, 1.7 was the standard deviation divided by, and we need the second function, x squared, the square root of 5. And then we press enter, so that's 0.76. We'll call it 0 0.76. 0 0.76. Um, this is 1.7. Oops, let's use a different color for that. Okay, so this is problem number one. Oh, these are the appropriate notations for uh, the mean and standard deviation. Okay, that's problem number one.